All right, great. So there is 2,000 mole kills down. Still no pets. Gonna go and do some Zora, I think. Get some big profits there. But uh, let's go ahead and price check this loot that I got off mole the last couple hours. So 200 kills. And we got here. Oh, it's looking pretty big. Just about 4.5 mil off of that. Wait, there is a malediction shard. I'm gonna head out of here real quick. Hopefully no PKs. 500 Scorpia kills down. This boss is pretty quick to kill, so wouldn't be surprised if I get the pets here soon. If I just camp this boss until I get the pet, because it wouldn't take too long to get 2k KC. It's really quick. No way! Yes, I got it! Crap, I need to pick that up and get out of here quick. That's one of the worst possible things to die after you get a pet. If I do get attacked, probably gonna drop everything but the pet just make sure i keep it let's get out of here quick 571 kills for the pet this is actually my first wilderness pet down of uh what four there's the three actually no i did get the chaos elemental so never mind this is my second wilderness pet so there's vedian there's callisto there's venonatus there's scorpia and there's the chaos manic so there's five uh, i've gotten two of them now uh, I, I wouldn't count KBD as a wilderness pet, but if you do, then that's six. But let's go ahead and insure this thing now. And there is 12 pets total now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it's time for a bank price check. I want to see where I'm at right now. How much have I made? I did start from scratch like a week and a half ago or something like that. So... Here it is, this is where I'm at. So sitting on 44 mil. Isn't that great, but I haven't exactly been doing the best money making methods. I've still been trying to do my completion completionist stuff. Still trying to go for these pets and such. So I forgot my DH and I forgot all my Barrows equipment, which is probably like another, probably bring me up to like 50 mil, 50 to 55 mil. 500 kills down here at the Winter Todd. So let's go ahead and open this uh, 500th crate. Get some burnt pages and a quorum seed. Nothing too great. Let's go ahead and bank that and head back into another match. So I'm sitting at 23.868 million fire making experience right now. I ended up doing 500, I mean 119 uh, kills of the Winter Todd. So First inventory, 1.4 mil. Inventory number two, so 1.8 mil from that. I sold everything, and this is the total that I came out for. I also probably got like 500k or something in pure cash, but I wasn't counting that. Finished a Bandos trip, nothing really good. This is the loot that I got. I probably did like 30, 40 kills, something around there, so not a whole lot of kills. Um, so the loot that I ended up getting is worth uh, 778k. Sweet, there is a 700k reward from a hard clue, number 6D1. Basically all from the boots, I'm pretty sure, is what, what all the value is coming from. So here is my Slayer log, and there is my Crass kills. I've killed probably about 1,000 today, and here is the loot that I got from them. So... I did get a bunch of alkables as well, but I alked them, or pretty much I alked most of them while uh, killing them. So those are not included in this price check, but uh, that probably counts for like half of my loot in total, or something like that. So I'm getting pretty close to about 4k crass kills. The head drop is 1 in 3000, so getting a little unlucky there. Just hopefully I don't get as unlucky as I did with the crawling hand, which was like 5 times the drop rate. Anyway, here is the loot. Let's see how much this is worth. So I imagine in total, if I counted the alcohols, it's probably about double whatever I get right here. So let's go ahead and see. There it is, 2.3 mil from the fruit and herbs and all that stuff. So probably close to four point, around 4.5. Bro, bro, that's one in 80,000. Just give me my hammer. And there is another long bone coming in. And there is another 100 Castle Wars tickets done. Not much to record here, although that right there took me about 12 hours. So a lot of time for very little uh, video. Elite Clue Scroll are one in 1,200, I think, off of these. And I think that's my second one now. So it's like 2,500 kills, which I think is actually pretty close to about how many I've killed. So 
least in this video and the last video, I've killed probably t close to 6,000 now total uh, without a Dragon War Hammer. So off to kill some uh, Lizard Shamans, so I'm hoping that I can get the Dragon War Hammer today. We'll see in the next uh, clips, the coming clips, if I actually get it. Is today the day? I hope so. Uh, but yeah, I should be making a little bit of money off of this. Hopefully a lot if I get that Dragon War Hammer. Start doing raids if I do get it. So let's go, let's go kill some lizard shamans. So let's go ahead and check how many kills I've done. So at 56.74 now. So there is the reward off that elite that I got from the lizard shamans, uh, 99k. So just a little past 800 kills now. You're at the Bandos. So Bandos trip's done, not really anything good. Um, probably did about 50 kills in total. So, sweet! Oh, my first Pharaoh Scepter ever. Right there, that is five mil to the bank. So right now I am trying to go for the thieving pet, and that is the next best thing. I've never gotten a Pharaoh Scepter before. I don't know if that was, I didn't have a Pharaoh Scepter on my list because it's not exactly from a monster drop. I do have a task to get one of every monster unique drop. This wasn't exactly a monster drop. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it on or not. Um, but yeah, I've gotten that now, so that's awesome, the pet. This is the fastest way to get the pet as far as I know. It takes, I think, like something like 60, 70 hours, something like that on average doing this method. So it's very quick. The fastest way by far. Um, basically, I just run in and rush all of these gold, gold chests. And on the way to getting this pet, I should also be making probably like one mil an hour or something like that with these Pharaoh Scepters. So done over 400,000 thieving experience here at this uh, Pyramid Plunger place, just thieving the main chest and opening the doors. So did decent amount, did get one scepter. Uh, I think the expected experience for me to get the pet is about 6 million using this method if I got the pet on the drop rate. So uh, 400k, actually a little bit over 400k of uh, experience uh, out, out of the 6 million to get it on the drop rate. So. So that's pretty good, almost uh, 1 12th of the way there. All right, so I want to get to raids. It's been taking me too long. I've been making my money too slow. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some Zola right now. Some really fast money. I should make quite a bit here. So I'm just going to do tons today. So starting at 37.66, and I plan to do a lot today. So we'll see how many rare drops I get and what they are. Maybe we can hit 4K kills today. We'll see. Sweet, there is an elite clue. 82 elites done 37k for the reward that's probably one of my worst elites ever hp warrior barely got that kill i was i've been on one hp for the past like minute and barely got that kill it is my second elite yeah and a master clue as a reward for my 83rd elite so here's the reward from that master 300k 46 masters done now that was 853 kills super time visage 2.9 mil right there, sweet. Here's Elite number three for today. The 101k from that Elite, 84th Elite, got some planks and some tuna potatoes and combat bracelet, or dragon stone bracelet. So just doing some trouble brewing right now. Uh, getting close to, I think, 5,000 pieces of eight, which will allow me to buy a flag or two sets, uh, two more sets of the naval equipment. So uh, making some progress here as well. I'm probably like a third of the way done with this place. Something like that. Maybe even half of the way done. I'm not sure. But uh, as you can see in my chat, the uh, PvP tournament is going on right now. And it is pretty sweet. I think Jagex did a really good job with it. They have good um, broadcasters or commentators, whatever, commentating it uh, that are doing a really good job. They have really good like interfaces this time around. They're just going about it all in a really good manner. I think it's going really well. It's not getting that much... Um, views and pu publicity i think the dead man tournament usually gets like three four or five times as many views so it's definitely not as good as that as far as popularity but i think this is way better than the dead man mode tournament so i hope that they continue doing this in the future i definitely want to get back into pking and hybriding so i haven't made any pk videos in a while because i just got kind of bored of it but i think i will have to get back into it and yeah it definitely looks really fun i heard that they're that I heard Chris Archie talking about maybe making a system where you can get like points in like a rank. The better you do, the better people you fight, and you get points based on how many points your opponent has and whether you beat them or, lo or lose against them. So that would be sweet. I would really like that update. So hopefully they do something like that. I definitely want to get back into PvP. But that is pretty much it for this video. So. 
I think I did make quite a bit of progress this week. Once again, another pet. Um, lots of progress in the minigames. Yeah, I'm going to get back to watching that tournament and see you next time.